Have you ever wondered if other famous landmarks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the Great Pyramids were ever considered abandoned or slated for redevelopment until people just decided, nah, that's legendary? What about the Statue of Liberty? Maybe move some apartments into it? Maybe that whole process is happening right now in Miami. Let's get into it. Just a mile and a half from the shores of downtown Miami and perched alongside a small channel on Virginia Key sits a beautiful piece of modernist architecture from a long distant era since the 1990s. This 6,500 seat marine stadium has set abandoned and left to the harsh South Florida elements over the decades of sitting just being there with no use. It's covered in graffiti but it's a historic building with a large movement behind it to save the structure. But why did the stadium close up in the first place? How is it abandoned like this, surrounded by some of the most valuable real estate in Florida? And where is it going? Let's take a look at the story of the Miami Marine Stadium. It was the early 1960s, and for a bit of history, the city of Miami was trying to figure out what to do with the land that had recently been donated to it. It was on the south end of Virginia Key. And this, at the time, was when Miami was keen on building out infrastructure that would allow them to become the world's capital for boat racing itself, a very popular sport in the area. At the time, to achieve this, the city would build a U-boat-shaped cove just off the Miami South Channel and a large paved area capable of holding 4,000 vehicles temporarily, grandstands, restaurants, boat slips, and a massive permanent grandstand facility able to seat over 6,500 people for different events. Since the 1960s, it's become a popular tourist landmark for the city. It even helped the live events and views of downtown Miami grow and be abundant, as spectators would not only gain a perfect view of their performances out of the water, but also a spectacular view of the Miami cityscape. This was a picturesque outdoor venue for events like the Hollywood Bowl. In 1965, the city crafted a huge barge that would act as a stage for live performances through the late 60s. But you should know that the tide at this time was beginning to turn. Despite the large performances in the early 1980s, the frequency of new concerts were in decline. But it wasn't the decline here that was the main issue. The main issue here, since the facility was purpose-built for boat racing, these races were becoming more infrequent. In fact, the sport of high-speed boat racing and pricing as a whole was on the decline. A new stadium that could fit 75,000 people opened up in 1987. It is spelled the beginning of the end. While the newly opened Joe Robbie Stadium was quite the distance away from downtown Miami, it became the logical choice to move headliner performances there. Then came in 1992, Hurricane Andrew, ripping through South Florida, causing unimaginable damage to the concrete and the structure of the Marine Stadium. It seemed to have held up quite well, but upon further inspection from city engineers, the structure was deemed to be unsafe. Hurricane Andrew had done this stadium in. This right here was the final blow for the city strapped with cash due to the immense damage from the hurricane. Already in financial decline, the property began to sit unused and completely abandoned for years. Time continued to pass with no intervention and with the city doing nothing. With that, this stadium became known for its graffiti and it was sort of an underground abandoned spot. But that wasn't entirely the case as there was a few who cared about preserving it in fact, in the early 2000s, fast forwarding in time, a reassessment was done on the structure and it turns out that the stadium was in sound condition. Someone made a mistake. Then in 2008, an organization was formed called the Friends of Miami Marine Stadium, a nonprofit with the sole purpose to save the structure of the organization. They saw value in the cultural significance of the structure with even one of the founding members taking their purpose into the National Trust for Historic Preservation, placing it as one of the most endangered historic places in America. The group unveiled their new master plan for the stadium, which now included for the stadium a plan to breathe new life into it. It was ultimately approved with funding set aside for restoration, but progress on the Miami Marine Stadium as at this point would only crawl along. Meanwhile, the stadium was continuing to be a safe haven for graffiti artists, as well as an intact abandoned relic. By 2016, the most promising update was announced when the city had finally locked down a plan and a timeline for restoration approving for spending of $45 million in the form of revenue bonds. Their bet at the time was that Miami Marine Stadium would be a worthwhile public investment by 2017, and things were moving rather smoothly along as an architect was brought in on the concept art, and they ended up crafting on what would be the renovation and what it would look like 
but since this was a city project, a bunch of formalities and decisions needed to be made by councils. For instance, in 2018, the city held an RFP, a request for proposal, similar for many big public works projects. In this case, though, the city was seeking out for the right operator for the venue, and all of this ate up a bunch of time. But the city was publicly showing that they were ready to move forward, announcing an opening date of August 2019. Well, that time came and went. In late 2021, Miami Marine still sits empty and the city decided to defer renewing the bonds to May of the next year. But May came and went, and the city decided to defer renewals indefinitely. Miami Marine Stadium project was dead in the water once again. In September 2022, they began replacing some of the pilings and reinforcing others, but this infrastructure work to the facility would eat up nearly all of the grants and donations, that they would need millions, likely tens of millions of dollars more to get the property anywhere near what the concept's called for. So that brings us to now. It's been a long road of false starts and red tape. It's been over three decades since the closure of the stadium and 15 years since the organization was formed to save it. With some of the work already setting the foundation for a much larger restoration, many people are eagerly awaiting this project to get completed and to experience this work of art and use it once again. It likely won't get there without the city's help and it needs a lot of good public and political interest. So now's the question of if it's actually gonna happen. Are you into unique destinations and projects? Check out everything you didn't know about the insane mega tunnel of Europe. Channel link in the description or visit the video on your screen right now from Amazing World. Make sure you're subscribed to Around the Amazing World. We look for putting out updates on this one as things get closer and anticipate more for the exciting future. 